Hello everyone, I'm Mark Sodgrass and today I wanted to cover creating a year over year uh, cards and showing multiple years uh, to compare against. Uh, as you may know, in Domo you can use the period over period card type to create some uh, basic period over period comparisons. So if we take uh, the bar line, for example, and just drag in our date field, and then drag in uh, something to count on, for example. And then it will uh, load for us. And then if we say this year and choose graph by month, for example, and then compare year over year, we can do compare this year to last year. We can also add two years ago or three years ago, four years ago, and have that, which is nice, but um, you're kind of limited in the fields you use compared to other cards, and you can only go uh, compare four years back. So um, show you how to be able to use reg the all the other cards you have options with more options and, uh, and just do this within beast mode. So if we, Gonna back out of this a little bit. And let's just start with uh, maybe a line chart. First thing we need to do is get our x-axis to have kind of a common uh, date along the bottom. And we can use the current year date and we're gonna just kind of level set <clears throat> any of our older dates like uh, 2017, 2018 to be in the current year just for the purposes of the x-axis. So we can use the date add function to do this. And if we say date add and then the field we want and then interval, typically you do something like, uh, hey, I wanna add a year to this date for whatever reason. But we wanna be dynamic in how many years we're gonna add to it so that we can get uh, everything to that 2022 year or current year right now. So in order to do that, we're going to take the year of the current date and then subtract it from the year of the date reported. We're going to wrap this in parentheses real quick. So then it will dynamically um, move things forward to the 2022 year. So if it's 2022 minus the day reported was 2017, that would be five. So then it's gonna add five years to this. And we're just gonna call this the standard date. And that, and that, and then we can drag this to our x-axis. And if we drag our aggregation in here again, refresh, get this to graph by month materially. Now it's got a single line, but that's not quite what we want since we need to um, break this up by year. And we're gonna do that with a series. And that's really um, just taking the year of the date reported in this case. So date reported, extract the year out of that, put that in our series. And it loves to take a number and, and aggregate it, but we don't want it to aggregate it. So now we got a lot of series because our data has a lot of different years in there, but we want to just get it to um, more recent years. So we could uh, do a couple different ways in order to do that. Um, we could say take year minus the current date current of the current date rather and the year they reported so do that math we're going to come up with a, a number um, let's call it uh, last years that looks good can share that and then we could add this to our quick filter over here we just say turn on to the quick filter um, and we want it to actually be less than or equal to, uh, oh, I want us, let's make this a little easier. 
less than or equal to. And then if we just put in like five, then we'll have just our last five. And right now it's hiding that there's 2022. We can get this series to be in the correct order for ourselves. And uh, and the other thing we need to do is put in the date into the sorting so then it goes January, February, going through nice and clean. So now we can dynamically say, hey, if we want to do six years or something like that, we can expand that out. If we want to drop off the current year, we can do that because uh, it's pretty incomplete, but then this lets us look at uh, the trends over years, number of uh, claims in each month helps us see which ones are um, busier than others uh, for whatever reason or lower than others. Um, and now we can use other card types too. And if we switch to like a vertical and to the nested bar, we'll have to tell it not to aggregate when we change card types. Get this back to our year. There's our looking at it in a nested bar. And again, we have our different years, and we're right now just kind of hiding 2022, but it helps us. Nested bar is nice, it helps us show our, our highs and lows within the overall and then the individual year. So, not too bad, just a couple of beast modes we needed to create in order to standardize our years and get those years as different series in here and gives you some more options to use. So hope you found that helpful and uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.